Hello and welcome back to another BreezyCast. Today we got another game of Total Annihilation on the Pro TA 4.4 mod. Um, and the map here is one of actually Timmy Fred's map called uh, Disaster Piece. Um, it kind of reminds me of like just Gods of War, the layout of it, but it's uh, actually an air map. Um, so we'll, we will be seeing some air action right away. So let's introduce our players. I believe both of these guys are new to... Um, uh, I don't think I've casted either of these players yet, 1v1. So let's introduce them. We have Knob Gobbler playing as core in the white. And he is going air first. He's going for all about that action boss. Um, quoting from Marshawn Lynch there. So we have on the bottom in the green playing as arm. So we have a nice arm versus core matchup is... The Lawn, a.k.a. Um, Monka, is uh, most people probably know who uh, that name. He, he's he's played under a couple of names, aliases, so. Uh, so let's move this guy out of the way and make sure he's on hold fire. That's just my commander. Um, it, it puts your own commander in when you join a replay, so that's that's why I'm doing that. So, yep, Lawn going K-Bot first, and he's going to get a... Jethro right away because he knows the bomber's coming. Um, usually, personally, uh, since all these rocks around here, all these this is a bunch of metal just sitting on the map. This would make me want to go air first because then you can bomb, do damage, and then go for an air con right away. Start claiming this metal, and then you can get your K-Bot factory up right away and start atlasing to the islands. But let's see what Nob can do with this bomber here. Honestly, I would have liked to see him come from the top side. That way he can come down and bomb both next patches. Oh. I think Jethro's are a little bit better at tracking now than they used to be in OTA, so... Definitely a little bit better AA, but um, just the regular defender, the missile tower, is um, the best by far for anti-air. Surprised that um, Lon didn't really make any of that. But, I mean, he kept his uh, metal extractors alive, which is the biggest the biggest thing. He didn't really lose any metal there. And he's going to reclaim this and go air right away. But here comes another bomber from Nob. He gets one mechs and a win there. Uh, kind of, Kind of fumbling the bomb in there. So this game kind of living up to its name. Uh, so far, it's been a kind of a disaster here for for Nob, but I mean he still took out two mexes, so could be worse. And now he's gonna go for that air con. Probably gonna do what I'm talking about, go around and reclaim these rocks. But uh, Nob's got to be careful because Lon already has his air factory up, and if I was Lon, I'd go Freedom Fighter. Yep, which is what he's gonna do. So. He's going to sniff out those air cons right away. He's already on top of it. Yeah, let's take a look around. So and this is kind of what the map looks like here. What is not Okay, so Nob's already reclaiming down here. So he's gotten one island's worth. Oh, so there's even some reclaim in the center here. I really like Timmy's... Uh, Timmy's got some very good designs for maps. Um, he... He doesn't add like that extra, that, uh, you know, rendering that Rock does on his maps, but I think Timmy has pretty solid ideas for like map layouts and designs. He's ha he has some pretty cool maps. Okay, not really getting too much of the bomb runs here for Nob. Um, but he is going to get that K-Bot factory up now. And we do have a little bit of air action here. Oh, both players literally patrolling in the same spot. <laughs> there we go. There you go. One for one trade, but Muck has already got another freedom fighter there. So these players are going to be fighting for these islands. I wish Monk, uh, the lawn here would be... You should be tracking this air con down. You got to be looking around this map to see where the rocks have been sucked. They, 
Actually, they don't leave little footprint. Like, usually they leave like a little uh, mark when you reclaim them. I guess these rocks don't do that. So that does make it harder for Lon to track where the Aircon is. Apologies. Okay. So Lon, I think, has air control for the moment as he has more Freedom Fighters. And uh, he's going for an Atlas. And he's probably going to Atlas the Jethros, I'm assuming, to the islands first for just to have them secured. Or he just might yellow his con there. We'll see. Yeah, it looks like he's going to just go for the con. Since Lon knows that he kind of has air dominance here, I wouldn't mind seeing another Atlas just so he can speed up the transferring process. Even maybe transfer some of those Jethros to really secure like this outer island here. I'm doing some poking and prodding with the Freedom Fighters. Uh, does take out a mechs. Uh, I don't know though. I don't think you should be losing because that's what give that's what's giving you air control. You don't want to lose those. So it looks like Nob is gonna sneak a bomber around the back. Maybe he's gonna try to bomb stuff on this island. I'm not sure. So here comes the bomber. I think he was just passing by, but now that he's he's seen that. There we go. That, that was a that was a good run there from Nob there. Got some damage done there. Took out a decent amount of winds and some some metal. So uh, OBS actually did an update for their software, so they have a whole bunch of new settings. So um, just le let me know in the comments, guys, what you guys thought of like how the how the cast looks like s graphically, like if it looks if it looks good or not, if the quality is better or worse. I'm also trying to do 1440p on this one, so um, hopefully that comes out right. I'm not I'm not sure. This is the first time I've ever done it, so just let me know uh, what you guys think in the comment section if I need to mess around with it some more or. It looks good, or you know, just let me know. Let me know the spiel. Lon going for a bomb run of his own now. Um, takes out one wind, and that Jethro. See, that Jethro is going to secure this island now. So I liked, I like uh, Lon dropping that there. Pretty solid. Honestly, he should bring his freedom fighters over here to deal with this uh, K-Bot con. Well, the bomb run didn't really get too much done. Okay. <laughs> Nob was trying to reclaim the Jethro. But uh, Lon paying attention and moving it away. And now he's going to try to reclaim the Atlas. Uh. <laughs> oh, poor Nob, dude. Poor His poor Khan. Goodbye. You fought valiantly. And Nob is going to rush advanced air. Okay, interesting. But see, I don't know, this move gives it gives uh, Lon pretty much complete map control. I believe a few people uh, recommended this game, so uh, I feel like it's going to be a spicy one regardless of what happens. We'll see. And Lon is going to go advance K-Bot here. Okay. So Lon preferring to get more build power up because when I see advance advanced K-Bot here, I'm, I'm thinking Farks right away. Nob trying to get some cheeky kills on the Freedom Fighters because these these three right here are nice and stacked. So if he kind of shoots one of these, it'll hit all of them with the AOE. So you could get a triple kill there, potentially. And Nob is rushing that advanced air. And 
and Lon is securing uh, the last aisle that, that was available with that Jethro there. Maybe he'll Atlas the other one over. The one thing, Lon doesn't have a lot of build power on his island. All he has is his commander and 1k bot com. Because he had to Atlas them all over to the island, so. Map control going for Lon. And eventually, once he gets all these uh, metal extractors, or these uh, metal spots capped, um, he's going to have more metal too. And he is rushing advanced, and he does finish it first. So he will get advanced cons out. Probably Atlas those as well to the island, and cap start capping the Moho mines for more metal. So Nob, I'm curious to see what he's going to do with this advanced air. He's on one island. Oh, this is not looking good for Nob. <laughs> okay, so he's just going to go for vamps. I was curious, if maybe he's going to do like rapiers and go for a snipe, or just using rapiers to honestly clear the missile turrets on the island, because they actually do pretty well against the, the missile turrets, and especially because there's not... Three missile turrets isn't going to stop like a group of rapiers okay, nobody's building their geotherm geothermals vents yeah on finally getting one con over to uh, the last aisle there <laughs> this is really uh, the map control is completely in um, Lon's favor here We can speed up the tad. There's uh, not much going on. They're just. I think Nob's plan here is to just get Moho Mines up and uh, just try to mass as many vamps as he can because these vamps will. Um, they're very good against like the Freedom Fighters. They'll, they'll shred them. Okay, so there's Lon. He's advanced. Yep, yeah, he's atlasing over um, his advanced K bots to build more Moho mines on the expanding isles as well. So one thing, this map is actually very, very tiny. I think uh, what did Timmy Fred say? Six by six. Um, somebody can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's it's pretty small. So actually, if you built, I don't. You can even maybe even a guardian reaches over, but I know a toaster. Can reach over and probably hit probably like around here so if he can get like a toaster up on like one of the side islands it can actually uh hit knobs main island with just the toaster you don't even need like a big bertha that's how small this map is and knobs gonna go for bombers okay now, advanced bombers, they're a different animal, okay? They're a lot, they're way better against the missile turrets. Uh, they can absorb a lot more damage. And uh, the AoE is really nice on them. So he can really just, if he marks these MTs, there's only five here. He could easily take out most of these MTs in one pass and do insane AoE damage at the same time. Nob's got a little bit of everything. He's got some vamps. He's got a rapier. I mean, it's actually a good combo. He's going to use the vamps to kill the freedom fighters, and then he's going to use the rapier to kill the missile turrets. All right. Honestly, I kind of like what Nob's doing here. So now he's he's going to get this island under his control. So the fast advance air um, paying off. Yeah, Rapier is pretty solid against these missile turrets. Pretty good. And Lon's, uh, he's like, yeah, I gotta get advanced here right away. Like, because this can snowball very quickly. All right, so we got ourselves a game. And then uh, it looks like Nob's gonna get advanced air cons out now. So he'll probably use that to cap his metal extractors and also use those to fly over and cap these metal uh, metal spots with Moho mines. 
And he's already got one con there, so uh, this island goes back to under Nob's control now. So I think, yeah, not, if Nob just keeps this going, he can take keep taking islands here. With like this rapier hawk combo. Curious to see what he's going to do with this advanced bomber. Advanced bombers a lot easier to bomb with. Uh, they just, I think they drop more bombs and... Uh, which makes it a little bit easier. Speed up a little bit. Here's to see what he's going to do. Okay, so we have people actually... Now we got uh, Lon. He's trying to get these middle... I feel like these were completely neglected. I feel like a couple air cons uh, could, have, could have had all those capped by now. They might have not even realized they were there because honestly, when I, I didn't even really notice them right away either. Took me a little bit before I spot him. So Lon's gonna go for a Brawlers. And he's got a lot of build power too, so. And Lon's gonna get a, a flak up. Which is a good idea versus those hawks. It'll take care of the hawk. Honestly, it'll take care of pretty much rapiers, hawks, all the all the air stuff. So in 4.4, Brawlers did get a little bit of, of a, a buff, because when they shot before, uh, the EMG spread used to be pretty pretty wide, so they, they used to miss quite a bit, and I think uh, Venom narrowed that down a little bit, so they're a lot more accurate now. See, look how, look how fast those... Uh, Rapiers take out the missile turrets. One more in this island is knobs. Okay, so Lon's gonna it looks like he's building up the brawler, so he might be going for a snipe here. And Nob is starting another advanced that's gonna take a while to build with just one haircut. But he does have this island under his control now. Okay, here comes a bomber. He bombs those missile towers. Actually, he's got a he's got a nice little stack of bombers. He can four bombers can kill a kill these air plants for sure. Ooh, that bomber scathes away with like five percent HP. Nice use of the Hawks there. Take out the Aircon. And the Bomber goes down. But picks out some X's on the way. So let's take a look at the map here. So Nob's slowly regaining control, uh, map control here. But the Lon has Brawlers saved up here. And he's making a Roach Bomb too. Interesting. Okay, so is he going to try to blow that up? Okay, and Nob is bombing the side islands. Okay, here, here Lon goes. He's sending it all in. Wait. I mean, hopefully he doesn't blow up his own brawlers. Okay, so... <laughs> Alright, that roach bomb was completely... <laughs> He mistimed that quite a bit, but it's kind of hard to control that when you're also controlling the brawlers too, so. <laughs> oh man. This game has played out not what I expected. Let's see, what what is Nob's HP here? Oh my god, he is he survives with like 5% HP, dude. Oh my god, and he sends in another brawler. Oh, this game. Oh, Lon's going for another one. Uh, I don't think he's going to get it, though. Yeah. Oh, please re please repair your con, Nob. And keep him, like, tucked somewhere. Oh, my God. 
That's so sketchy. Both players power problems. Uh, neither player has any of their geos up. I don't know why, but you know. I think both players in panic mode, like uh, their metal has skyrocketed, uh, their full metal bar. I think uh, Nob's just trying to get vamps up to keep his comm safe from those uh, another brawler snipe. There we go. All right, so no more AA left on this island. Um, but I guess he just gonna, he's gonna leave that advanced con alone, and it's gonna get that flak up. That's not good. Oh, and the lawn is going for a bomb on. Oh my God! Not a block. Oh, what is happening? Lon's going all in on this comm snipe. Oh, oh my god. He's so low. He is being repaired though, so this is a little bit misleading. Um, he actually has, yeah, see, it it doesn't um, refresh right, uh, right away. So, he is being repaired by that comm. This has turned into quite a game. <laughs> okay, curious to see what Nob's gonna do with these uh, these bombers. Oh, they're just dying, unfortunately. The flat killed two of them. Yeah, I think he just uses these to bomb the the outer isles for now. Oh, it's low HP. And looks like Lon has given up on the, the comp snipe and now he's just gonna build bombers. And looks like Nob's kinda doing the same thing and he's starting it advanced K-Bot over on his uh, second island. While Lon is gonna rush a big Bertha. What you gonna do with those, Lon? What you gonna do? Okay, he's gonna go for the advanced here. Okay, maybe not. I guess he went for the Moho Might instead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe the elevation screwed that up a little bit. I'm not actually sure. I haven't bombed on this. I haven't played this map yet, so I'm not sure how uh, elevation works with the bombers. I'm assuming it's kind of like Cluster Freak or OE or OE. Alright, so let's see. Lon has his big berth about half. He's got flak to keep it safe from Hawks, at least. Um, but if Knob. It looks like Lon was trying to bomb the Geo, but nobody has their Geo up. It's a good thing that Win is like really insanely good here, because uh and Nob has his calm in in the Atlas. Oh my god, he could have got bombed out of that. Where's he gonna go though? Okay, so he's like, screw this island, I'm going over to this one. This is my new main. <laughs> this is my new main island. And uh he's gonna finish that advanced K bot. Probably get a Necro out right away so you can revive this uh, advanced air with the with the necro I mean Lon's, Lon's doing some damage with these bombers he's slowly kind of like wearing down uh, Knob's Island here <laughs> this map is so tiny I'm curious to see if we'll see anybody build like a toaster or anything like that on one of these side islands. Looks like Nob's trying to do some scouting. To, I think he's trying to find... He might not, I don't think he knows that Big Birth is almost done. And he doesn't have any bombers either. That's not good. 
Usually you want to spot that big Bertha before... Um, cause if you spot it when it's already up, then it's like, well... He's going to snipe all your air factories constantly. It's going to make it hard for you to get that bomber stack you need to kill it. So you kind of you have a window to spot it before it's before it's done. Okay. Looks like Lon's just kind of just slowly just wearing them down with the bombers each time, taking out more stuff. Knobs at eleven metal. Let's take a look at the totals here. So Knob is 23k metal. Uh, so Lon's definitely ahead, and that's from that early uh, advantage that he had. With map control. And Lon's at 31k metal. So about 8k metal ahead for Lon. Yeah, that, that big berth is nearly done, and he's getting the fortification walls around it. So that'll make... T1 bombers, pretty hard to kill it because uh, these do very well against the, the tier 1 bombers. So he's definitely going to want to mass up some some tier 2 ones. Yeah, he still doesn't know that it's up. Okay. Bon sending in some more bombers here. Takes out another air factory, slowly wearing him down. And the Big Bertha is firing. He's building an energy storage. Um, this will help so when his E's really good, it can stockpile up even further, giving uh, the Big Bertha more energy to shoot with. Because the bigger your energy stockpile is, the like say your E kind of goes down a little bit and you don't have quite enough to fire, well, you have that storage there that'll provide enough E so your BB can still fire a little bit, even though you're... So, it's always nice to have some storages. And he snipes, snipes another uh, advanced lab with the bombers. Problem is, Lon doesn't have, he doesn't have any energy, so these he needs to get more energy, not storage. I think he he can just rush a geo up with his his farks. It looks like Knob's going to reclaim the advance air. I think he just wants the metal at this point. And he's cloaking his calm because he's worried for a snipe. <laughs> yeah. Juan rushed his dang BB out and he don't have any energy to fire it. <laughs> he needs more energy. And his owl is pretty full, so he can't really build much more. He needs to start building some energy here, I guess. Yep, so on small maps like this, like, what you do with your space is actually pretty important. Lon doing some good off-screen bombing there. Probably annoying the hell out of Knob with that, to be honest. Oh, and, yeah. This is not looking so good for Knob. He doesn't really have any anti-air to help these vamps, so he kind of has to keep these patrolled over his island. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna say the the unit control, <laughs> unit control, not the best. Definitely a very scrappy game. Um, but very entertaining nonetheless. <laughs> Now see, where, where does Knob go from here? That's the question. Because at this point, Lon's just going to keep streaming these bombers in. 
and just making it very hard for Nob to really do much on this island. So how does he go from here? Big Bertha. <laughs> Still not firing. <laughs> he needs he needs energy, man. Build the Geo. Yeah, so these Farks, they drain a pretty good chunk of energy, so um, that many Farks with only this many winds here, and he's powering Mohos and stuff, so makes sense that he doesn't have energy. Might even be worth like pausing like two of these Farks so he can keep his Big Bertha firing. <laughs> Poor Knob, man. Oh, that was a good shot, though. Oh, and his comm is red. He's very low. Let's see if he can capture... Oh, we missed it. Okay, let's track it. Oh, he's trying to snipe the comm. Oh, and Lon nails him with that big Bertha shot to finish it off. Knob goes down. Lon is victorious. Um, this game... Definitely living up to the map name, it was a complete disaster piece. Uh, well played to both. <laughs> so let's see, maybe we'll get into the score screen here. So yeah guys, just let me know um, down in the comments what you guys thought of the game. You know, if you guys like today's cast and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be trying to keep keep the videos going. It's been kind of rough uh, from this like last couple weeks because um, TA Forever has been is has been down, and all the replays and uh, kind of the, I think the replay database got wiped, so that's unfortunate. We lost a lot of great content there, but it's okay because we can just keep making new stuff. Look at that one two, one two three on the kills for both players. Um, uh, the metal produced evened out a little bit at the end, only six k difference. Um, exact same scores. Honestly, pretty, pretty even, even game. A little bit of back and forth there. So, well played to Lon. Um, so yeah, hopefully the cast came out good, and uh, I will catch you guys on the next one. Not sure when that will be, but yeah, just stay tuned. All right, take care, guys. Later.